What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video on overcoming retroactive jealousy. My name is Matt and in this video I'm going to talk to you about the steps of letting go as told by the author David Hawkins in his book, Letting Go. Um, if you have not read this book before, don't worry, neither have I. Um, I actually just um, <clears throat> discovered it um, last week and I'm only about chapter three or so on it, but um, very interesting. It only took into the second chapter and he's already kind of giving us the steps on, on the proper ways to actually let go. Now, I, I kind of jumped the gun if you don't know who David Hawkins is. He's a um, very famous psychologist and has, has written books all about the mind and letting go and um, attachments and these sort of things. And um, I had never read much of his content or really knew much about him. And then interest, interestingly enough, um, as I started discovering him, I'm reading the stuff about letting go and then the stuff he's talking about, I'm like, wow, it actually really matches a lot of the stuff that we talk about already on this channel. Um, so it just kind of reiterates the idea that, um, you know, the stuff that, you know, we should, we share with each other on this channel, like it works and it's very helpful. And this is stuff that's being, um, really broadcast to the world through other people's works. Um, you know, even that of like Eckhart Tolle and people like that, um, who say basically the same things that, that I, I try to, you know, share and, and, and others will share if you're like a member of the, the forum or excuse me, the Facebook group, um, on retroactive jealousy that I, that I have for free. I'll leave a link below if you want to join that. Um, but we're all, we're all connected. We're all sharing the same message, but kind of suffering from different things. Um, but I, I just think if we can nail down really this method of, of letting go in this idea, and it's going to sound familiar when I share it with you. Um, but I think it will really take us to that next level, that next level that we need to really overcome RJ, to really get to the other side. So um, I'm going to jump into that right now. I got some notes over here so I can go through it with you. But of course, before we get started, if you could take a quick moment and smash the like button so we can get the video out to more people that need to see it, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Now I'm going to start out here with a quote from David Hawkins himself, and I have it written down right here. It says, we let go of wanting to change the past and we let go of wanting to control the future when that's done in a profound depth, one realizes that you are safe. And I think that's so powerful, right? When we let go of wanting to change the past. <clears throat> so these, of course, thoughts that we're having of our partner's past and wishing things were different. And if only this didn't happen, and if only this would have happened, and if she only wouldn't have done this, or he wouldn't have only done that, I'd be okay, I'd be happy. When we let go of all those ideas of wanting to change that and almost take a stance of all that needed to happen for us to meet or or just letting go of that altogether and just starting fresh from the ground um, in the present and then also letting go of trying to control the future this has to happen it has to be this way now i have to modify this and change this and get to this and latch on to these attachments again attachment is the is the root of all suffering is what the buddha said you know, but when we do all that, we realize that in this moment where we are right now, we are just safe. We're safe. We're at peace. We can enjoy our lives. We can enjoy every step of the way. And I think there's no better feeling in the world than just that breath of fresh air, right? When we just feel free, when we, we feel out of these chains, when we feel out of these emotions and we just can take a look outside and feel pure joy, you know, and, and, and getting to that has nothing to do with the outside. It's all us. It's all the internal. It's all letting go of these ideas and practicing these things each and every day. And again, once we change in here, everything else falls into place. Everything else changes on the outside. It's that internal game. So let's get to this letting go process. And uh, David Hawkins basically says there's two steps to this, two steps, and they're going to sound kind of familiar. I've shared this stuff before a lot on this channel, but um, didn't realize that Mr. Hawkins was sharing this in, in his literature and all his books that he was uh, putting out there and stuff like that. But the first step in this letting go process, and again, letting go of thoughts of emotions, in our case, this retroactive jealousy, these, these, these painful intrusive thoughts and emotions that we're having is to locate where that feeling is at and put your attention on the feeling. Okay. Put your attention on the feeling. Okay. Not the thoughts, but the actual feeling. So you might have thoughts that start kind of coming, but no, just shift your attention back to the feeling locate where that is and watch it, right? Just watch it without judgment. Watch. So, so again, some people, um, I know me, like 
in my chest is where I would always get those this feeling. Sometimes even in my stomach, like it would make my stomach drop. Certain um, <clears throat> intrusive thoughts would come in. Mostly be right in this tightness in the chest. And I always, I even remember talking to work colleagues and stuff and just being like, man, my chest, like, I feel like I'm having a hard time breathing. All the anxiety, everything was right here in the chest. So for me, it's the chest, but some people have said like the shoulders, some people say it's the neck. Some people say it's like lower parts of the body, but locate where that feeling is. Okay, that kind of anxious feeling where it's at. And we're just gonna find it and you put your attention on it. You put your focus on it. Okay, again, thoughts might try to take you, but just we're gonna put our attention on that and we're just gonna watch that feeling without judgment. And now the second step, Hawkins says, is to allow it without resisting it, okay? So we've located the feeling, we're feeling it, and now we allow it without resistance because we tend to sometimes, um, you know, when we have that feeling, we, 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 we tense up around it, right? We tense up around that emotion, that feeling, or we try to escape it or all this, but in this case, because remember, we're, we're safe, we're safe, we're letting go, and when we let go, we understand that we're safe, we can allow this feeling without resisting it. So relax that part of your body around that area, right? So if it's again in your chest area, just kind of almost visualize just all, you know, the the muscles around the area, whatever, is just kind of melting away, just relax. And if in the shoulders, just relax your shoulders. So relax that area around it is basically what this allowing thing is. We're not tensing up. We're not saying, yes, I feel it, it's here, it's here. We, we feel it, we located it and now we're relaxing that area. Now you'll start to notice sometimes when you do this, the feeling starts to kind of go away a little bit. And, and again, it's it might not be instantly and and <clears throat> getting into more of the book, it talks about specifically, you know, these emotions bring up more thoughts. So you might have some thoughts that try to take you certain ways and things like that, you know, more intrusive thoughts coming this way. But again, once you feel those thoughts kind of taking you, just put your attention back on that area and just relax it relax it. And I, I kind of, this was, didn't have anything to do with, with Hawkins, but um, I basically kind of came up with the three R's or the three R's, the three R's if you want to see, but that is refocus. So refocus our attention to the feeling, relax that feeling, right? Relax it and then release it, release it. So just kind of let go and allow that feeling, allow that emotion, allow it, allow it, allow it. And again, this is not saying this is gonna be like an overnight success or anything like that, but this is actually healing yourself. We are feeling it to healing it. Um, again, I've spoke about it on this channel before, and now I have my own author guy that's backed it up for me, right? I didn't even know he was telling this stuff, but it's the same type of stuff. Feel that emotion without judgment, relax around it, and then you can release it because you are safe. And continue to do this every single chance you get. Continue to do this. And again, sometimes the thought or the feelings don't go away completely, but that's okay. We're in the process of healing. This is the process. The more you do this over and over and over and over and over again. And as Eckhart Tolle said that I've shared on this channel before, it's like a, it's a burning up of the old emotion. Okay. It's going to be your, uh, your, your awakening process. Once this emotion goes away, once the anxiety goes away, once these, we realize these thoughts don't have the power over us. If the power is not in the actual thoughts, it's in the emotion. And when we no longer have this emotion anymore, the thoughts can do us no harm whatsoever. It's such a powerful, powerful process. So I think what I'm gonna do in my next video, I'm gonna actually do a meditation kind of based around this um, idea of refocusing, relaxing, and, and releasing, and David Hawkins is teaching to let it go. But just real quick again, we'll just do a quick recap. So wherever you're feeling that emotion, find it and locate it. Not focus on the thoughts, but focus on the actual emotion. Feel where it's at. And just, again, don't judge it. Just feel it, feel it, watch it, locate it. And then whatever area you're feeling at, maybe it's in the shoulders, wherever it is, relax that area. <sighs> relax that area. Let your guard down, right? Relax that area. Feel everything kind of melting away in that area. And then just kind of take another deep breath and just kind of release any extra tension you might feel or might have in that area and release it, okay? Refocus, relax, and release. And I think that's gonna be so key, so powerful um, in, in this process and you getting to the other side of retroactive jealousy. And this is the literally exactly the stuff that I had to do to overcome it. 
It's very, very powerful stuff. Very, very powerful. And if you want to check out the book, Letting Go, um, it's available on Amazon. That's where I got my copy. I got a, a Kindle edition. I think it was like $10. Um, but there's also a lot of YouTube content from David Hawkins on this idea of letting go that you can look up. Obviously, I love like the Eckhart Tolle content. He's always there, but this stuff is so powerful and, and really is completely transformative if you start trying it um, in your daily life. So I'm going to make a meditation on this and I'll link it in the description below. I'll probably have it come out in my next video. So I'll link in the description below. So if you're watching this a couple days after it's posted, check the links. Um, in the description below and what we can try this meditation out together but that's going to be it for me today if you enjoyed the video please take a moment and smash the like button so we can get it out to more people that need to see also subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so click the notification bell so you're alerted every time i post a new video thank you once again for joining me today and i'll see you in the next video